Oh, acorn squash. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the colors. And this is my favorite acorn squash recipe. Done, of course, in the toaster oven. I'm heating my toaster oven to 400 degrees. In a skillet with a little bit of butter, I have added an apple, which I had cored, peeled, and chopped into small pieces. I'm adding about two tablespoons of finely chopped onions. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Now I'm going to cook this for a few minutes until the apples are a little tender and the onions are a little transparent. That looks good. That was about five minutes on medium heat. So this is the filling for the acorn squash. Now <clears throat> I'm sprinkling with breadcrumbs. These are homemade breadcrumbs from a flaxseed bread that I made. Uh, check out that video, my video on flaxseed bread. Just a little dot of butter on top. Popping the squash into the toaster oven. And two tips. I really like these oven gloves. They're very nice, especially when you're using a toaster oven with a shelf that comes out like that. And we know it's hot in there. The other tip is, I save these pans from commercial bread crusts that I buy. I wash them up and use them again. They are perfect for baking things like the squash that I'm baking right now. And the other tip is, these are breadcrumbs that I've made from the flaxseed bread that I made. Of course, you can see the video. But you can make breadcrumbs from any bread that you have left over. Either leave it out and let it dry out or toast it really well. Put it in the blender and you have instant crumbs. And I don't know, for my money, these taste better than what you can buy at the store. And you can add your own spices, not somebody else's. That was 35 minutes and we've got some beautiful squash here. I've just been sort of nibbling away at this. Lots of beautiful textures, sweet and salty. The onion and the apple blend so beautifully with the taste of the squash. Mmm. Recipes just like this one, can be found in my Pop It in the Toaster Oven Cookbook, which you can buy anywhere. Give this a try and buy my cookbook.